Hi everybody, my name is John and I thought I would make a quick review video on my Prodigy Disc Golf Bag is a DP3V3. Um, I purchased this about two months ago for, on Prodigy.com. Um, it was their smallest bag, it's about $50 on the website. Uh, it's a rainy day here in Austin, Texas and I'm taking my discs out to clean them and I thought I'd give a, a quick tutorial and see what I like and don't like about the bag. Um, first off, this is the empty bag. Um, I'm going to fill it up here. I'm going to put it back together and then fill it up and then kind of talk about what I like and I don't like. Um, I think having a full bag will give you the best indicator of whether this is the right bag for you and the, and the pros and cons. Um, first thing I want to talk about that I've seen online that people have issues with um, is putting it back together. Um, so it comes with just the bag that folds out um, and then you get this brace right here. Um, with these two little flaps. Uh, nothing on the back side. Uh, you've got Velcro here and here that folds. Um, this is gonna add the, I guess, make the rigidity to the bottom of the bag um, so it carries a little bit better. I don't know if I'm putting it together correctly. The, the, webs the directions on the website were a little meh, um, but this is what I've been using to, to keep it together. Uh, so first off, this guy facing towards you. Uh, you're going to grab one of these flaps here uh, with the Velcro facing away from you. Um, you're going to try to center it as much as possible and have the front of this go to the back of the Velcro. Um, there's no lines here to keep it perfectly centered. Just do the very best that you can. I usually keep my thumbs right here at the very edge of the Velcro. I will set it down here on top of the Velcro. And then here on the Velcro sides, I'm going to be tightening them down. So there's one side, looks like so. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Right, um, once you've got it here, it should look like this. In order to actually get it to stand up, um, you've got this top part here with the Velcro. Go ahead and get this and pull it up towards you. Pull up the side of this right here and attach the Velcro on the side. Attach the Velcro on the side. So there's one side, should look like this. You'll notice that it's not straight flat down. Um, it's kind of got a curve here, which is gonna impact how the discs sit in it. Um, we'll go ahead and do the other side. Pull the flap up, tighten it. Flap up and tighten it. So ultimately, you're gonna have something that looks like this. As you can see, it's not flat down. I think it may look better if these were pushed all the way flat, all the way down. Um, I'll show you in just a second what it looks like inside of the bag, but now that you've got this guy, you can just open your bag up, slide it in like so, and it fits like this. All right, um, now I'm gonna put the, my discs in there. Um, I'm currently bagging 20 discs. Um, I like the idea of having a large bag and a small bag. Before this guy, um, I was rocking this Grip EQ AX3 as my large bag, and I was rocking this Fade Crunch Box with the Innova backpack straps. Um, is my small one, but I wanted to replace this one. It doesn't quite have enough space, plus the, the zipper is tearing, but this bag lasted me about a decade, so I've got, for the price, I've got absolutely no complaints. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put my 20 discs. Um, I've got a range of size, so this is a pretty good, every bag's gonna be a little different. You may have more uh, mid ranges that are thicker, more drivers, but I'll give you a, a kind of a rough idea what it's gonna look like. Um, I have, three putters, use two of them in the very front putter pocket. And then I'm gonna put my three mid ranges and my third putter um, over here on one side of the pouch. There's three on that side. So right now I've got six discs currently in there. Um, I've got seven fairway drivers from between seven and nine speeds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put most of them here, or all of them here, except for one in that side pocket. 
then here are my distance drivers. I've got seven of these as well. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I always find what works best for me is putting five discs in the two side pockets and then um, I'm able to put another eight in the center one. So here is five going on the right side. My last two drivers here. So this is what the bag looks like. I have 20 discs um, in the bag right now. Um, if you look, I probably have a little space that I could fit uh, one or two in there. Um, of course, once you're picking up the bag and you're adding gravity to it, you're not going to like, jiggle around as much as you thought over there. Um, a couple other things that you can do. This bag, if you wanted to add a putters up top, a lot of bags like my grip, uh, does have a top a putter pocket. This one does have a large pocket here and it's deep enough uh, that you should be able to fit two other uh, putters. Here are two other putters. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in like so and zip it. They fit, you can tell, um, totally in there, but you'll see that they do uh, kind of mess up the integrity of the front of the bag. Um, one thing that I don't like about the bag, it's not very rigid up here, so if you put anything of weight uh, in this top pocket, it's definitely going to droop down, which can affect you taking out your disc, you know, throughout the, the round as well. Um, it's got two water bottle holders on the side. Uh, this is a 32 ounce water bottle. If you look, it fits perfectly in there. Um, it does have a tightening strap, but I never really use it. This thing is more than snug enough. Um, in terms of space, um, it's got two main pockets here on the side. Um, they're actually deep pockets. I don't know if you can tell, um, but the pocket goes from here to behind where the water bottle holder is. Um, they're not very deep. Uh, they're not very, I guess, wide, so you can't get anything large in there, but you can at least get some stuff back and forth. Um, one thing that I don't really like about the pockets, I don't feel great about like my phone security. And let me let you know what I'm talking about. So a couple things, everybody will carry different things. Uh, here's a phone, wallet, keys, towels, and a uh, golden retreat. I'm just throwing a couple of things that you might have. Of course, you may have snacks or other recreational type things with you. Um, if you do put your water bottle here on the side and you got a metal one, you do have to worry about, here's the phone. Let's say I slide it into the deep part of the pocket and it goes right behind the water bottle spot. Put it in there. I don't know if you can hear this, but that's my phone that's banging against the water bottle. Um, it's not a very thick padding in between, so my only concern is that if I'm walking the whole course, you know, my screen, if I'm not putting my phone in correctly, it could be banging against my metal water bottle the whole time. What I generally do is I'll put my wallet in first and kind of move it behind the water bottle and then just kind of keep my phone up front. Um, not the best for phone security. You know, phones are expensive and you, of course, want to make sure that you're not throwing away money, but that's kind of how I feel about everything. Um, in terms of the other pocket, so I've got a phone and a wallet on this, uh, and a wallet on this side. On the other side, I will put my keys, golden retriever, and towels. As you can see, I am kind of struggling to get just these in there. And it's not a lot, it's just that these pockets really aren't that big. Um, so this is the bag. Uh, fully loaded here with uh, stuff in the side pockets, two discs. As you can tell, the form, not having anything stable or rigid up here, does make it slant. Um, if you look at the grip bag, you'll see that it's straight up, and you can see that this one has a little bit um, of a posture problem. Uh, what I'm going to do myself is I'm definitely not going to keep any putters up there and probably just keep towels um, and light stuff. Um, the padding on the back is very nice. Uh, my crunch box had no padding. Um, you can tell it's not going to be quite as thick as the grip, but then again, the, it costs $200 less, so I'm not expecting as much. Um, the nice uh, back padding, it's got the chest strap across here. Um, it's got a clip here if you're the type that likes to clip their towel. Uh, no umbrella holder, so you don't have anything large. So you can put either an umbrella or a disc retriever tool um, in there. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I've used this for about 10 to 12 rounds at this point. It's held up great. Um, 
If you look at the bottom here, there's no tears or anything like that um, in the bottom of the plastic. So far, so good. Um, I don't use a mini, so I don't know if a mini will fit in this front zipper pouch here, um, but it might. Yeah, you never know if you're uh, the type that plays officially, not myself, just a, a poor rec player. Um, anyways, I'm gonna make a few changes to this, you know, to, for things that I like about the grip. I think I'm gonna find some way to make it a little bit more stable and rigid up here. I think I'm going to add some Velcro so this can be able to fasten up here somewhere. Um, and possibly something on the bottom for stability because, you know, the only thing about this bag being having no, uh, I guess, no stabilizers on the bottom of this, if you're parking it on a hill, it definitely could fall over. Yeah. Whereas with the grip bag, it's got these two rails. Um, they do, which doesn't make it perfect, this thing still falls over as well, uh, but it definitely does a little bit better job. Anyways, um, once again, this is the Prodigy BP3 uh, V3 on uh, Prodigy.com for 50 bucks. This is not sponsored or endorsed in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's just a rainy day and I'm bored and wanted to give you my thoughts. Anyways, have a great shot. Uh, have a great day. If you have any questions or if you want to see uh, the mods that I'm going to make to this bag, I just leave a comment and I'll be happy to address them. If you have any ideas, I'm happy to see if I can turbocharge my $50 bag a little bit. Thanks a lot.